What up, guys? I'm D14 Lone Star, and uh, or also uh, Lone Star Ace from the PSPISO.com forums. Um, uh, lately, I've been getting some uh, replies from people who are having problems um, combining their eboot files. So I thought I'd make a video of uh, me doing it, so you can kind of see see what to do exactly, how to do it. Uh, so first, you want to download the file. You want to download uh, whatever file. It'll usually come. It, you'll usually have multiple ones. Crash man, that little, this little um, book file right here. Usually, when you download multiple files, you'll have multiple of those. Um, but uh, you you do need a program to open it. A dot to open a dot rar program. And, and the way you know if you have one is um, when you download the file and it has a little book. And if it has the little books, then you have. Uh, then you can open it but if it doesn't have little books if it just says file then uh, you don't have one I'll post a link on um, on the descriptions on how to do it on uh, where to get it where to get a, uh, a file to open it but anyway f first thing you want to do is um, extract I want to go ahead and extract all these files let's see we'll extract whatever's in there let's see if I can get it Extracting real quick. It should extract it really quickly. Um, depending on how big the files are, it'll extract it really quickly. Let me move these. It's finishing. Okay. You don't need that. Okay. Now that you've got these extracted, you don't need this one anymore. So you can go ahead and delete it if you want. But uh, yeah, you, like I said, you'll usually have multiple of those if you download multiple files. Next, thing you want to do is download a program called HD Split, and I'll have a I'll have a link to that as well. But after you download it, you want to save it, or you'll you'll go to it and you want to save it. You don't want to just run it; you want to save it, and it'll make a little icon and everything. So, but after you do that, you you want to double click it and open and run it. After you save it, you want to run it. And then go to join, and you want to go to uh, input file, and you want to go to the location where you have the file. So if you have it in your documents, you want to go there, but you want to have all files in the same place. It'll say, um, like you can see right here, it's eboot.pvp001, and um, all the files that are going to go together are going to have 001, 002, 003, depending on how many files you have. But you click 001. It it you it probably won't say eboot.pvp001. It may say like I'm doing Crash Bandicoot, so it could say Crash Bandicoot.pvp001 or whatever. But as long as it says 001 at the end, um, that's the one you want. So you open it, and then you go to your output file. So you I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my desktop, and you can output it anywhere. And then you go to start. And it doesn't take that long. Again, if you if you have like seven files and they're all like a hundred megabytes and you're trying to do it, it'll take a little bit. But it does it really quickly. This is like a hundred and eighty something megabytes. <coughs> and it's going pretty quickly. It's combining all the files, and it'll combine all the files that are in the same place. So you want to have all your files and all your eboot files in the same place. It's done. You can click out of that, you can click out of that, and you don't need, hold on, back up a little bit. Okay, now that you've done that, you don't need these two anymore. And it'll make this file, it'll make a file that just says eboot.pvp, that's it. Uh, after, the, after that, you want to make a file that has the name of the game. So like if it's Crash Bandicoot, you need to make a file that says Crash Bandicoot. It'll uh, like the first letter capitalized. You want to have it exactly the right um, name, or else it won't work. You want to drop it in there, and you also want to download another file. It's a keys.bin file, and I'll have a link. It's a really small file. You want to download that, and then you want to drop that one into this Crash Bandicoot or whatever file. You want to drop that in there too. Okay, now. Now that you've done that, your file is ready. It's ready to be put in your to your game folder. 
So you go, you go to your PSP. Let's see. Double click it. Then you go to your game folder in, in caps. Right here. And it'll have all in them. Then you go you drag you drag or paste and or copy and paste your your file. Well, but I'll just drag it. It really doesn't matter. Go ahead and just drop it in there. It'll it'll take a it'll take a little bit. It'll probably take maybe two minutes to dump it in there depending on how big the file is. It really won't take that long. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. Or actually, no, no, it's almost done anyway. Let's see. Yeah, but um, you're gonna drop it into your game, so it'll be like PSP slash game slash whatever your file name is. So in this case, it's PSP slash game slash Crash Bandicoot. And this will work with um, most M33 firmwares. I'm running M33. Or I'm running 390 M33-3 firmware, and it works fine. There we go. It's done. Let me go to my PSP real quick. After that, you unplug it. You go to your game memory stick, and right there. It'll say Crash Bandicoot or whatever the file you want. Or whatever file you made. Let's see. <clears throat> and it'll start up like normal. Um, some firmwares have problems running it. I think if you have. Uh, I heard if you have um, 401 or 4.01 dash M or dot m33 or whatever 401 m33 you may have to get like um a three seven point a 3.71 pops loader which um you, you can just google that or go on youtube and figure and find one or find it but yeah it'll start up normally just get out of here uh, it'll start up normally and everything it'll quit But, uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. If you have any questions, just uh, um, personal message me or comment. Um, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to have more videos on how. I will eventually have a video on how to um, actually hack your PSP with a Pandora battery. And just a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, just, uh, yeah, subscribe. If you have any questions, again, personal message, message me or comment, anything. Uh, thanks for watching.